Hi everyone, my name is Les with Meta AI, uh, working on PyTorch FSTP, Fully Sharded Data Parallel. And today, in this tutorial, we're going to cover uh, saving and loading your models and optimizer checkpoints. Um, so I've got a notebook here with some code to show you how all this operates. Uh, one important distinction I want to make is that there's actually two different ways to save your uh, checkpoints. Within FSTP, uh, one is known as full state dict, uh, and the other is local state dict. Uh, full state dict is going to aggregate all of the parameters from your different ranks or GPUs into your local CPU memory, symbol the model there or checkpoint there, uh, and then save that out to disk. So you do have the constraint that there's an assumption that the aggregated model will fit within your server's CPU memory. So uh, how big that is obviously depends on your particular server um, setup. Um, general assumption would be something around on the order of models 20 billion and under should safely fit within that constraint. Um, but if you exceed that, uh, then the alternative uh, is to use local state dict, uh, which will shard that up into a, a number of individual smaller files, uh, but we'll cover that in a separate tutorial. So today is full state dict. Um, so let's go ahead and get underway here. Um, first things first, we do want you to have um, ideally the latest PyTorch nightly. Um, so in this case, we're running on the June uh, 27, but uh, later is always better. Um, from there, we'll go ahead and pull our standard uh, FSTP imports in. Um, there's two new, relatively speaking, items of note, just new in the sense that uh, we've explained them previously. Um, there, this is the full state dict config. That's going to be your configuration policy uh, for uh, full state dict actions. Uh, we'll get the details on that. The other one is this enum here called state dict type. Um, there's actually three of them. Uh, the only two we're going to discuss at the moment is um, Full state dict, which we're talking about now, and of course, local state dict. Um, just having that present as a way uh, within your code to verify what mode you're in, because depending on what mode you're in, uh, you'll be doing things differently in terms of how you handle the checkpoints. So let's get underway. Uh, we'll assume that you are building your model. Uh, you go ahead and run that, and you have your model in memory. Uh, from there, <clears throat> as you can see here, I'm checking to make sure that the checkpoint type uh, is full state dict. And then I've written some code here for loading the model checkpoint itself. And so that jumps to this function here. This is uh, very much like a regular PyTorch uh, loading of a model scenario, with the exception that we're going to screen out and only actually handle it on rank zero. So, uh, so I've got the if rank not zero return. Um, next point, just checking uh, where we're going to pull that from based on the config file. Uh, verifying the file, of course, is actually present. And finally, we get to loading the checkpoint. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, this is very uh, PyTorch standard uh, load, load the um, checkpoint and then from there integrate the checkpoint into the model itself and then we're out and we've got our model set up with that uh, saved checkpoint. Um, from there you can go ahead and shard your model with or init FSTP which will shard the model and that's handles that there. And now we'll move into the optimizer step. Um, you create your optimizer passing in model.parameters and here we'll get into a little bit more complicated uh, code. Um, specifically, we're going to do the load the optimizer checkpoint. Um, and from there, call this function here. So similar stuff here, we're going to make sure where is our checkpoint at, make sure it exists and is present. And this is where we're going to get into all of the ranks are actually going to make the call uh, to request basically the um, optimizer uh, checkpoint. So we have this full OSD or optimizer state dict and I'm going to set that to none. Uh, and I'll explain why in a second. Um, if it is rank zero specifically, then we're going to go ahead and load the actual optimizer checkpoint file, and that will store that into this full OSD uh, argument or <laughs> variable there. And from there, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and call this command um, or API scatter full optim state dict. We're going to pass in the full OSD and the model itself. Now, obviously, as I noted, uh, this is actually an empty parameter. So for all of the ranks except for rank zero, this is just a, a basically a dummy argument. But the one that really counts is rank zero. Uh, but you do have to call this from every single rank. So this is um, the process to do that. And from there, that will go ahead and scatter out uh, the appropriate shards of the optimizer to the relevant ranks, and everybody should be ready to go. So from that point, you can train, uh, and you working with your previously loaded um, optimizer uh, and model checkpoints. Once you complete your training, then we'll go ahead and get into the, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, and get into saving uh, those new or updated uh, model and optimizer checkpoints. So um, there is the policy for the model uh, state checkpointing. 
and that's where we pulled, as you saw, the full state dict config. So there's two things that we can configure. Um, offload to CPU, uh, generally you're gonna want that to be true because uh, we're gonna want to use CPU memory uh, and rank zero only. Also want that to be true just to avoid redundancy in terms of what we're loading. So that will create your, um, in this case, I called it full state save policy. Um, and then we'll go ahead and go into the actual code for saving the model checkpoint itself. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> I do again verify the check that we're expecting to be handling a full state DIC scenario, not a local state DIC. And uh, that's just screening out that. Once we're in here, we're going to set up context uh, with FSTP state DIC type. And um, we're going to pass in three things here the model, uh, oops, state DIC type, um, as I mentioned, and then of course our policy that we just made. And so, therefore, every rank um, will go ahead and handle this model.state DIC call and create a CPU state. Um, <laughs> I did have a little bit of Printing here just to, to note uh, kind of in a debuggish fashion uh, that all the ranks are doing uh, the save process. And then the most important point is once you are on rank zero specifically, go ahead and create your directory, uh, your path, and so forth for the file where you want to save it out to. And it's a straightforward torch.save. Uh, you're going to pass in the CPU state uh, and the path. And then, of course, if you like, uh, some notification that the checkpoint was saved. So that covers saving out your model. And finally, we're gonna save out our optimizer state. So I made a different function here. Uh, the reason for splitting the functions between them uh, was that so that if we have constraints on CPU memory, uh, the CPU memory can be used once for the model and then once again for the optimizer state just to potentially expand the uh, size of the model that you could handle there. Um, so within this function, uh, let's see here, uh, each rank We'll make this call to full optim state dict. I'm going to pass in the model and their view or optimizer, which is their view of it. Um, and so that will go ahead and, and create the individual sharded um, optimizer state. And rank zero specifically uh, will go ahead and uh, do the actual handling um, down here. Uh, just checking if the uh, Checkpoint folders there, make the folder and where you want to save it to. Again, it's a single file um, and then just some alerts that we're saving it. And then finally, it boils down to torch.save, uh, the optimizer state and the state full path. And what's happening, I'll show this in just a second when I run the model. Um, everybody will return an empty dict from the different ranks except for uh, rank zero, uh, which will at that point aggregate everything and that will be pushed to the CPU memory for rank zero. And then again, torch.save will go ahead and save it out for you. So, <coughs> excuse me, let's go ahead and I've got this code uh, live and just a basic framework. So we'll go ahead and just run that. Oops. And just clearing the cache for the individual ranks. Uh, it's a little bit of config happening there. Building in this case, a small model, just 500 params, uh, sorry, 500 million to show you things in action here. All right, and so the model checkpoint's been loaded uh, to the rank zero and then propagated out. Uh, just tracking the init time, so it's 19 seconds roughly. We create our optimizer. At this point, we're getting ready to load uh, the optimizer checkpoint. All right, that was slow. Uh, anyway, we've got our full optimizer state loaded. And uh, from here, we've got uh, just had some kind of debuggish prints to um, show that each shard had been loaded on each individual rank. I'm going to run a quick mini batch, uh, just a few mini batches, I should say. And at that point, we're actually saving out. So we've got our save process here. Uh, for the model itself, uh, you can see the optimizer state to being called on the individual ranks. Um, and then the model itself is being saved out of CPU memory. And that's done, and then it's going to go ahead and process on the optimizer side. Dicks are ready. Go ahead and save the optimizer out. Um, this can take some time depending on the model size. Uh, the writes it also depends a little bit on uh, what your server situation is, but it's not uncommon that it's it's, it's a multi-minute save process. Just FYI, which you kind of saw earlier on the 
wait for the earlier run. So we'll let this finish up. In this case, I have them just saving out to this uh, training checkpoint folder. And there we go. We're done. So that is it. Uh, like I said, you don't have to have all these um, kind of verbose uh, debug steps. Just want to sort of show you what's actually happening there. Um, so that is how you save your model and your optimizer uh, checkpoints, or optimizer, I should say, with uh, the full state tick checkpoints. And um, hope that helps. I'll post the code out in terms of the notebook uh, so you can welcome to you leverage that. And I uh, hope this video was helpful for you.